All right, here's a walk around on the flying spur. Just do a quick lap around it and then I'll start getting into anything that I can see on it. Okay, like looking down the side, the car's very straight down the sides. Back of it again, super clean around the back. No denser dings on the trunk lid, and it looks good there. Again, looking down the side of the roof here. Again, no denser dings that I can see down the side of the car here. Bumper. Again, very clean. Sail panel up here, no denser dings. Looking at the roof. Sorry, it's a little dusty. You can kind of see some of the dust on there, but apologize. Again, no denser dings. So, no hail damage of any kind on the roof. Looking up to the hood. Again, nice and straight. Can't see any issues with the hood there. Looking around the front of it. Underneath this common area to have some scrapes under there. It looks like up under there there's some stuff, but actually not too bad. Nothing crazy under there. Looking down the side of the car again, or this way. Again, nice and straight. Look back this way. Nice and straight. Got a set of matching pearlies all the way around. See this wheel here. No issues with this wheel. This other wheel is the problem child. So this is the wheel over here. You can see some stuff on it. So down here, you can see there's a little bit of a scrape right there. And then moving up here, this is the worst of it right here. So somebody clearly has nailed a curve one, once or twice here. You can see like that up there as well. And you got this guy right there. You can kind of see this wheel is not, uh, not particularly great and it could use refinishing. Just not sure who to have do it. Moving on to the other rear wheel. This wheel's overall very nice. You can see a little bit of spot right here. Where it had a, touched a curve at one point or another. Again, probably another parallel parking error. Front wheel. This one's perfect. There's no issues there on that wheel. So that wheel's as good as it gets. Moving on to the interior. So here's the driver's side door panel. Very nice. You can see like some light scuffing, which quite honestly I haven't tried to get out, so it might actually come out. Is the way it's supposed to be there. It's missing the button here. Um, but everything works. You can see the back seat back. This is well. All the buttons and everything work as they're supposed to. Carpet, you can see there's a little bit of um, slight staining in there, but nothing crazy. Pop the hood for the Looking at the dash. Stretching leather dashboards are kind of a common issue with these cars, but this one is actually very nice. I've actually seen it where it can stretch out and pop this vent right here. And this one's good. 
all the wood and everything is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, no, nothing odd or anything. This shift boot, it's hard to see on camera here, but this shift boot down in here was torn. Um, so that was, has been replaced. Uh, driver's side bolster, you can see where it shows a little bit of, a little bit of discoloring there. From use, and nothing over and above what you'd expect for the age and miles of the car. Headliner, you can see up here slightly, kind of see up there. Headliners separate a little bit up there. Again, nothing crazy. Common issue with these cars because they're completely leather. The whole thing is leather up there. Um, it can be fixed, but it's uh, pretty much all of these at this point have have that or some degree of that. Or driver's side rear door. Driver's side rear carpets. Everything is very nice in here. All the buttons are intact in the way they're supposed to be. All the wood trim is nice. Hmm, I guess I gotta have a key in the ignition, maybe. Oh, and up here. See, so the back window was previously tinted at one point. So you can see they just didn't quite get all the tint removed from there. And you can also see where, I mean, this could all be fixed, but this vent right here has some discoloring on here. So that vent would need to be popped and then resprayed to make that perfect. I'm not totally sure how that happened, but it's on there. Also, this one here, so the carpet's are really, really nice, but see, it's got some power functions. In the back there. Again, leather work is, I mean, is pretty and as close to perfect as it can be for these cars. A little, little mark right there, but it doesn't look like it actually didn't actually puncture anything. It looks like something just pressed up against it. It's a passenger side rear door panel. You can also see it's got heated seats in the back as well, just like it does in the front. side door panel. Let's see, there might be a little a slight scuff in there, but a little mark right there. Passenger side front seat looks perfect. Can't really see anything going on here. Bolster looks good. A little bit, but that might actually be factory. Again, leather over here looks great. I mean, everything is covered in leather and there's no uh, mars or stretching or any signs of abuse. Again, wood grain looks exactly the way it's supposed to. Moving on right here. Okay, so here's the engine. Not really a ton to see under here. These engines are packed in there very tightly. Overall, it's very clean. I'll just put it in so you can kind of hear it run.
let's hold the trunk up. Nice. That's our flying spur. 